So let's start by opening Visual Studio, create a new project, and select ASP.NET React. Once we do that, let's press Next. Let's give our project a name. I'm going to call it GitHub Actions Deployment to IIS. Once we are satisfied with the name, then we go ahead and press Next, and then Next. Um, but before we do anything here, let's go to our control panel and make sure IIS is enabled. Once inside the control panel, select programs and features. Then turn windows features and under internet information services, make sure these modules, um, the following modules are selected. For me, they're already installed or uh, selected, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. Next, before we go back to our Visual Studio, let's go ahead and make sure that we have that .NET hosting module installed in our computer. If you don't have it installed, make sure that you install it because IIS relies on it to run our web, um, web server. Now let's go back to our Visual Studio and connect uh, to GitHub. Let's go ahead and create and push our new created solution to GitHub. And it's going to create a project under my username in GitHub. Let's select that and then go to the settings. And here what we are going to do is under actions, um, the, the actions tab, we are going to create a runner. So it's uh, going to be a Windows runner. And basically here we just are copying and pasting these commands. So let's open up a terminal as, a, as an administrator and run the following commands. It's very straightforward. Then let's go back to Visual Studio and um, let's take a look at the structure of our project. So it's a, an ASP.NET application with React on the front end. And we have several components uh, with the router already installed uh, for us. And it's a basic Hello World application. So let's go ahead and start the web server. So as you can see here, our instance of a browser has opened and it's going to be redirected in a second. Um, and we're going to see our Hello World application. And here we go. Now, before we continue with the further with our project, let's go back to, um, to our Internet Information Services Manager and let's create a brand new site. So as you can see here, I have already two sites. I'm going to add the third one. I'll call it GitHub Actions IIS and um, I'll add the .com at the end. We are going to deploy our .NET application to a physical path and I usually have my sites live on the C drive under a folder called WW root. So I'll add, I'll add a folder under that with the same name of the site. Once I do that, I select and hit OK. Last thing here is that we have um, to change the port because it's running on port 80. I have one of my sites running already on port 80, so I'll change it to port, for, port 400 and then press OK. Next, what I'll do here is change the mapping. So I'll map my local IP address to this new site that I created. Once that's done, I'll save and quit. Next, let's open our Visual Studio instance as administrator, and it's important to do so because we are going to deploy to IIS. 
And for us to validate the configuration, it needs an administrator privilege. So now that our project is open, let's actually press on publish and select IAS deployment as a target. Web deploy. And for the server, let's give it the name of our computer. For the site name, we can go back to IAS manager and copy the name from there. For the destination URL, it's going to be the same thing as the server, but with the HTTP prepended. Um, the username and the password is the username and password for your computer. So wherever that is. Let's press validate and hit OK. Now that's done, let's actually grab the URL and open it in an instance of a browser just to ensure that our IAS server is running as expected. And it is. Now let's go back to our GitHub project and open a uh, code spaces. And inside our root directory, let's create two folders, one called github.github .github, and then under, under that, let's create workflows and in, uh, under the workflows, we are going to create a file called deploy or yeah, deploy-iis.yaml. Let's add the content here. So for the sake of time, let, I'm going to copy and paste. So what we are doing here is just ensuring that first we are choosing our self-hosted runner that we just set up earlier in this demo. And then um, basically um, cloning the repository locally to our uh, computer, then uh, running the, the .NET build and the .NET publish. And cop now like what we are going to do is ensuring that the a result or the output of the .NET publish is copied to our um, root folder that we um, that we created for on the IAS side. So in the last step, we want to stop IAS, copy the output of the publish to that root directory, and restart IAS. Next, let's actually go ahead and commit our change and push it to the main branch. Once that's done, let's open our components and inside the components folder, let's select home and change the title. Let's add a few O's to hello and commit our change. Once you're satisfied with your commit, let's push. And as you can see here, if we refresh, that there are two new commits, one of them that's just... Let's go now to the action stamp and trigger our workflow. It's going to take a few seconds for our workflow to deploy to IAS. Once it deploys, we can all go back to the tab that we have open in our browser and refresh. We can see that the title has changed. Et voilà.